Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Greeting Comics, Twister, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackiness, Take a Bad Hits, Take a Bad Kiss, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for Complaints. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Short Miss Prime here doing another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure review based off the TMNT Nicktoons cartoon show on Mutagen Man, Pulverizer, Goo Mobilized. Oh, poor Pulverizer, you are so stupid. Stupid! But this figure right here looks very, very cool. I gotta give a big thanks to my buddy, Mr. Phils, for making this review possible. Pretty standard packaging. It just says, as seen in TMNT TV show season two right there. That's the only real difference. Mutagen Man, ages four and up. There's the turtles right there. And then here's the back of the packaging. And then we have all the other figures that have been released. Nothing really new over here. And we do have this bio on Mutagen Man. If you want to go ahead and read about that, pause it now. And we get this really cool 3D image rendering from the show of Mutagen Man. Very, very cool. So I wonder if you can actually put ooze inside there. Hopefully it comes with the directions or it tells you if you could do that or not. I may just put water in it just to see how it goes. But anyway, let's crack this thing open. So I think this is an okay figure. I wish they had more paint detail on this guy and the articulation is kind of so-so. But if the function works out where you can put water or ooze inside here, then that'll totally make up for it because that's what I want to see. I remember my old Mutagen Man figure could do that, so I'm hoping this one could do that too. Before we take a closer look at this guy, let's take a 360 of the figure. You can see that he's got this translucent yellow plastic for his limbs. And then you can see the brains and guts and stuff inside there. And he's got his, give me some change, can you spare a quarter? Aside from me wishing he had a little bit more paint detailing, I still think it looks very cool. Now there was a variant of this guy, or a recalled version, where the eyes were not painted. Mr. Phil's let me see that. So I am glad I have the one that does have the eyes. I prefer to have the eyes on there. And you could actually pull this out. You just turn this counterclockwise, and then lift up over here, and then you could see the nasty pulverizer in there. Ew, that's so gross, but wonderfully done. Ah, oh, so nasty. This part right here, I really wish had paint detail. You know, like we had some blues going on in there and some reds along with the pink, but still, it's wonderfully sculpted. I really like this. It is so nasty. That is so gross. Awesome. Really like this a lot. And he has these tabs right here on the top of the lid, and you just want to line them up properly and then just turn it right back there. Now, I complained about paint detail earlier, and he does have some orange paint detailing on him. There's this orange fade going around the yellow over here, so I didn't notice that earlier. Very subtle detail, but I like it, so I'm glad that they have that there. So I do take back what I said about the lack of paint detail, because it's right there in front of my face. Now, his hand comes apart, too, so you could just pop this off also. I don't know if you're supposed to put ooze in here or something. I assume so, because it has these holes right there, and if you put some ooze in it and then push down, it's all just going to spew out, so I think that's going to be cool. I'm going to try that out later. This container suit has this little pink stripe over there and it's made out of this light gray and we have some nice silver paint right over here for his speaker and everything and then you can see the back of it not a whole lot more going on over here on this but yeah nice detail on it as far as the sculpting goes I really like the sculpting a lot nice silver paint applications over here and we do have that orange paint detail going on which I did not notice earlier so it looks pretty good and on the right side we have this big fist over here, silver bracelet right over there, and then some more orange paint detailing. As far as his articulation goes, his arms move outward like that, and they can rotate forward so he can do this, and then the legs have the same articulation where you can move them outward, then you can move them forward so you can rotate like that, and that's pretty much it. So I guess you can get him sing on one foot, that'd be kind of neat. So I'm going to go ahead and put some water in this guy and see how it looks, and then afterwards I'm going to put some ooze in him, and I have my saran wrap right over here all ready to go. So now you have some water in there, and some of them leaked out uh, just for me shaking it around to see if it'll hold upside down. You can tilt it upside down and it won't fall off. I'm just holding this right here so that it doesn't slip apart. Let's see if I could do it without spilling water all over my review station. There we go. All right, not too bad. You can see he's got the water in there. Looks pretty cool. I like how it looks with the water in there. It looks a little better. I think that's nice. But we really got to see how it looks with the ooze. All right, so here's a canister of my mutagen ooze and crack this thing open over here. This stuff is so awesome. I wish I had reviewed these canisters of ooze. I'd lost my little Leonardo that came with it and then found it later on. Okay, so anyway, we just pour this stuff in here. Oh man, this stuff is always just weird to deal with. Alright. I hate how it smells. That's, that's the one thing is that it does stick to your hands and it reeks terribly. Okay, there's the whole thing. Just decided to come right out. And that's too much ooze. Let's break this off 
and put the end there, and put you back in the container. It's actually very cool ooze. Right? All right, and then you want to leave some space. I think that's filled up too much. I don't want it leaking out as I push the brains and stuff in there. So I'm going to take some more of this ooze out, and then put it in here. Oh, great. Now it's just all... Is this familiar? Oh, no. still have a bunch of this stuff on my hands. It's not really easy to clean off. But uh, let's go ahead and put this thing on. And you can't see anything in there. That was so stupid. <laughs> Look at that. It's just still full of ooze. So yeah, that was all for nothing. But at least now we know. He's got no face. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, with half a container in there, it looks pretty cool, but still, you can't see the brains or anything. You just barely see the eyes peeping over. So let's see how this goes putting some of the ooze inside the hand over here. So let's just take a little bit of ooze, not too much. And just pour it right there. I have a feeling this is going to be hard to clean because we're going to have ooze going right through these little holes right over here. And yeah, that's going to be fun to clean. So yeah, let's go put this away. Okay, I think this is the right amount of ooze. And then just push in here. Let's see how this goes. And oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is sick. That is cool. Oh, that's nasty. Whoa. That is cool. That really reminds me of the show. That is awesome. I really like how that looks. That's cool. So this Mutagen Man figure stands at about four and a half inches tall. And here he is compared to my original Mutagen Man figure. And I have to say, this older one is a lot cooler, man. Uh, you know, like what I was saying, paint detail. There's a lot more paint variation on this one, I think. You know, or the sculpting anyway. There's more detailed sculpting. There's a lot more bubbles. You got these muscle lines going on. This guy actually came with extra little pieces inside that float around in there and everything. And of course, I did break it back in the day. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but for a much older toy. This is really cool I mean just getting the comparison right here. Look at that It's not too bad and it's taller than the new one too And here he is compared to Donatello and Leonardo and then here he is compared to the Marvel Legends big-time letdown spider-man So overall, I think this is a cool figure the function works You can put water in it and it doesn't leak all over the place as long as you're not shaking it around like I was and not even that much Water came out of it. I do wish that there was a little bit more color variation. We do get paint details So I retract my complaint about that, but still Still, it would have been nice to see a little bit more color variation is all I'm saying anyway. But I like the figure overall, and I hope you guys liked the review. And if you did, hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Okay, so now I got it all off my hands, and then we could try to...